kill the date for this welterweight championship fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, presenting the challenger, Hamzat Bors And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 3 losses. He stands 6 feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if it's for... All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Kamaru Rusev. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pounds? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. It's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Sound strike on the ground. Three minutes. Seven laps here in round one. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Here to the body on the ground by Usman. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's having his way with him here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's attacking choke now.
Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Wow. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hook set, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. All right, let's look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about just the efficiency when it comes to the ground and pound game? He was able to throw at the right time, secure at the right time. He wasted no action. For me, this is the most exciting type of fight. A guy that is just dominating his opponent, really, truly putting the grind on his opponent from the top position. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. And how about the ground and pound skills in the previous round? His opponent better make some adjustments or mom's not gonna recognize him. <laughs> to change this because the, this guy on top is so good with his pressure. He's not even controlling your body. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate oh, head outside. This dude's going for a ride. Oh, takes it for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Us. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Oh, that'll work. The ground and pound strike is good. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Usman's back inside control. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. All right, has the guard closed here. Throws the right hand there. off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Solid strike on the ground. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. 30 seconds to go in the round. 20 seconds left. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh. And the horn oh. sounds on round two. Oh. Oh, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous round. Face punching at its best. Ha. He loaded it up, he threw it straight, threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. And they separate. 
Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. Left hand punch from the clinch. He's throwing every part of himself into these he big legs. He tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Tags him with the left. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Close guard. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off this back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands with the ground and pound here. Well, you got to stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Usman's got the full mount. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Relentless pressure from the top by Usman. Lands the ground and pound strike here. Short time now in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Usman's got his back yet again. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Kamaru. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to hurt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five. And a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus two. Yeah, you got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15 minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go to that extra 10 minutes. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. The hip tosses he nice. down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. Oh, he keeps attacking that left eye. Now it's starting to close. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, he's got his back now under the neck. Oh, and now he flattens him out, DC. A couple hooks in. This could be trouble. Look at all that hip pressure he has into his opponent's back. Now he'll start to rain down brutal ground and pound. And you better intelligently defend here. This could be the beginning of the end. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people
people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Kamaru Usman. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Side control now. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Working off of his back here, looks like he may try to hip escape. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Usman's back in half goal. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you doing? When I get to the side control in the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Make sure your elbows are in. Make sure you've got something locked in so your opponent doesn't just squirm away. Punch short punches, but try to make the opponent make a choice. Either he turns back into you, you take your front headlock, or he turns in the opposite way. He's going to attack the triangle choke here. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, oh, he might have got him with a choke. Absolutely 
incredible submission victory for him here late in the fight, and that can be hard after several rounds of fighting. You're fatigued, a lot of clinch work, which is exhausting. The technique sometimes can suffer. It did not suffer for him here today. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 32 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by tap out and So his welterweight greatness continues tonight and still UFC champion. I think on nights like tonight, you're glad you don't fight at 170 pounds. This dude's a problem. I mean, he is a problem for anybody. Anybody within the weight area. If he decides to go up, 